Uh, so today, I'm going to be talking about, um, this will be Johnny, this, uh, this be his third, uh, studio album. Um, rigor, rigor mortis sets in. Now, compared to, I would say compared to the other album that I just done, um, before this, Whistle Rhymes, um, which I said was kind of like a rock, hard rock album, a mixture between those two. Um, now, this album here, I found was completely different. You had some tracks on it that were rock, you had some that were quite heavy, and all different kinds of genres. Um, so this album here is a rock, hard rock, um, rockabilly and country album um, so this album here was released on May 1973 in the UK and June 1973 in the US so I take it it was released in as well as in Canada in June of 73 I take it so the songs on the album includes give me that rock and roll Two minute and forty nine second song, Mr. Baseman, Do the Dango, the two minute and twenty nine second sound song, I mean, a two minute, let me say that again, a two minute and twenty nine second song, Hound Dog, which I believe, you know, Elvis Presley sang, I think that was the same song, yeah, Elvis Presley sang in the, uh, was it 56, 57 when that song came out? Um, after I was made in Japan, my wife, Roller Skate Kate, Hag, Leg, Haggy, a 2 minute and 53 second song, Lucille, and last is Big Black Cadillac. Um, so yeah, this album here, compared to his two albums before that, um, I found those albums there were, were, um, like rock, you know, they were kind of between, you know, rock and roll, um, and, um, hard rock between those two, right? Um, especially his debut album was, uh, definitely hard rock for sure. Um, but yeah, he kind of took a different approach for this album. It was different genres and different, you know, completely different genres of music, um, which is good, instead of keeping it at the same, you know what I mean, um, so, there, um, there's a video, um, of, uh, my, him performing my wife at the old Grey Whistle Test, 1973 as well, as Peg Leg also the same year on Grey Whistle Test. Um, so make sure to check out um, The Who, Who's Next Album Review, John Eat Whistle, Smash Your Head Against the Wall Album Review, Pete Townsend, Who Came, Came First Album Review, Roger Daltrey Album Review, um, so make sure to uh, check those ones out. Um, so like I said, next I'm going to be talking about the Who Quadrophenia album review. Um, and there's so many albums, like meeting with the solo albums out, man, so many. Um, but yeah, Quadrophenia, that one there would be kind of like a, um, man, that album there had so, so many songs on it, like, 20-something, it had a lot of songs, I know that for sure. Um, so, I'm um, gonna be talking about that one next. I'll go through the songs on this one, and I'm gonna finish it off. So, the songs on the album include Give Me That Rock and Roll, the 2 minute and 49 second song, Mr. Bassman, do the Dango, the 2 minute and 29 second song, Hound Dog, Made in Japan, My Wife, 
roller skate, Kate, Peg, Leg, Peggy, the two minute and 53 second song was Seal, and last is Big Black Cadillac. Um, so, make sure to check out John Ian Whistles. Uh, his, this will be his first solo album, uh, Smash Your Head Against the Wall album review. Pete Townsend, Who Came First album review. Um, Roger Daltrey album review. Then I did one, um, The Who, Who's Next album review. Um, so hit the thumbs up, make sure to check those out. So I'm going to put it down in the uh, description uh, down below so you can check those ones out. Um, and all you people that did subscribe, thank you very much. Hit that thumbs up. And um, always, always remember to subscribe. And um, man, there's so many other album reviews by the Eagles, Rolling Stones, Kiss, uh, Led Zeppelin, the list goes on and on. So check those ones out. Thank you very much for watching, and you know, bye.